Howdy, 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 my name is Anashi Sasuke, and welcome back to Let's Read Ava's Demon. There's been, like, 61 pages since the last time I've done this. In the interest of not running out, I'm gonna try to have the episode be, like, 20, 25 minutes long. And if I somehow get through 61 whole pages in 25 minutes, then this is gonna be that much longer before the next episode. But, uh, in the last episode, we got more backstory. Um, we got to see Rathia's husband, as he screamed about that. And now the glasses. He thinks they're stupid looking. Oh no. Y you can hardly even see through them. Oh no. Ah! Ah! What the? Give him back! I got your pervert slime in my eye. They're not perverted, got it? I need them in order to see Rathia's warriors. Oh, was he able to see her now because it got in his eye? Like, he's able to just naturally see it because he got the glasses goop in his eyeball. Also, is she just chilling in a, in a bra? And it's magic slime, just so you know. I can't believe these broke so easily. It's like she wants me to fail. Uh, w w warriors? The ghost of all the warriors that fought for her, or at least she told me that they fought for her. She scattered the souls of her strongest warriors all over the universe after Titan conquered her empire, so I need to find the rest of the ghosts like her that are trapped in life forms like me. That was part of our deal. Wow. A deal with a goddess. That's incredible. You think I'm lying, don't you? What? No, I... I... And why do you keep calling her a goddess? You make it seem like she's some sort of fairy tale, and she's not. M maybe she isn't one, but she reminds me of one f from tales my people have told. Before Titan appeared, before we could venture off our planet, our people believed in gigantic, otherworldly beings. They were depicted in old texts as four supreme creators with overwhelming destructive powers. Beings who were so big and powerful that there wasn't enough space in their realm to contain their fury. They fought for space so ferociously that they exploded into hundreds of goddesses and gods, dispersing across the cosmos to create new domains. There's Rathia, and there's the, the bubble lady whose name I've forgotten, and the guy whose name I don't think I've ever known, and the grass person who is unfortunately stuck with Maggie. You poor bastard. Using the space they claimed, they fought in the names of their creators, and waged wars on battlefields that would become the source of all life. So the cycle of life and death, the balance of order and chaos, and the nature of every living being reflects the struggle of the four creators t to this day. This is some good backstory. Huh! Sounds like the mist from before Titan. The ones in the old storybooks and stuff? The tales were part of our religious beliefs. Do you think those stories are what really happened? Um, w well, I didn't for a long time, but then my mind changed w when I found out that I I'm, I, I'm, I mean, when I read a passage in one of the ancient texts about cosmic vessels. What do you mean by vessels? Wessels. A vessel was said to be a person who embodies the spirit of a giant goddess or god, someone with the power to bring great change to their surroundings, change that only the giant sacred beings were known to make. That sounds like what Rathia made me into, a vessel for her ghosts? Th that's what I was starting to think. I also thought maybe a vessel with that kind of power could bring change to our dying planet, maybe even save our sun. That's what my mission a is, actually, t to bring back a vessel. Just just one. One vessel, pow powerful vessel to prove to my brother that I'm not useless. Is that why you need it, Maggie? Y yeah. <sighs> but, but, uh, how did you know? Uh, huh? I had seen some strange changes in her, her friend and everything, but not even I knew she was a vessel. Vessels actually have a sort of sound to them. Did you know that? A sound? They emanate particular types of frequencies. 
types that are silent to our ears? Is she awakened listening, or is this just a picture of her? I discovered the sound by accident, right before Magpie disappeared. She found a radio in my brother's scavenger trash and wanted to help me wanted me to help her find music with it. We couldn't fix the radio, but I was able to salvage the radio card using her phone device. And instead of music, we found a single silent signal radiating from her eyes. That's when she confided in me what she thought the signal was and read me the tale she found about vessels. Your sister is a vessel? She was sure she was one. So sure that she told Olai. Olai was adamant that we only broke the device, that vessels weren't real, and told us both to grow up. But then I had a gut feeling that her newfound frequency was special. Is that him checking to see if he's one? Are you a vessel also, also a vessel, Odin? Does that second signal mean you have one too? Odin? Has he had one this whole time? Does this mean you also have an invisible vessel friend? Is he nice like mine? He doesn't look like he's nice. But at least he's using the couch. N no, he's not nice. Why? Wow, you know what this means? Now we can tell Olai we're both vessels! And this time I'll have to listen. D -d don't D -d -d Don't tell Olai anything about me. G got it? Is that- wait. Huh? Why not? There's actually a whole other person in there? It's fine for a kid to have invisible friends, Magpie, but I'm not a kid, got it? All I think I'm crazy enough as it is. You don't want him to k kick me out, do you? No, but then don't go telling him I'm a v vessel, okay? But please, Magpie. <sighs> okay. What is this? Is he pro- Help me! Help me, Odin! Is he just being a dick or is something actually happening in there? Wow, I wonder which of Rath Rathia's ma warrior's magpie is paired with. Was she the only cosmic vessel you came across? Yeah, at least on Aiden fell. Then one night, when the snow stopped falling and the clouds had parted, Magpie and I pointed the device towards the sky, and that's when we found even stronger s signals from a whole bunch of cosmic vessels, silently singing among the stars. Magpie's signal was the sh one of the strongest on the list, so I thought she would be pretty easy to track down, and I was right. The next signal is three circles and then one that looks like a... Bah, only it's backwards! Or Maggie's, not Magpie's. But when I finally found her, my mission kind of fell apart. Boy, it sure did. I'd, I had hoped, along with proving myself to Olai, that in my search I would discover Magpie's signal again. Or maybe even find her without my brother's help. Most of all, I just wanted to make my parents proud of me. Well, in spirit at least. What happened to her? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Since the device is broken. That's the vessel device? Uh, that was my fault, huh? Well, you don't need, really need it anymore. I d don't. I'm a cosmic vessel, aren't I? I could help you out. <gasps> Though my powers would probably just destroy your planet a lot more. <laughs> but we've still got one lens on the glasses. I could help you find a bunch more vessels. All the ones in this book. Ones with better powers than mine. You would help me? Just like that? Yeah, why not? It'll be easier if we work together, right? Although, uh, I might need to help with a small task in return. I still gotta fulfill my half of the pack for Rathia. You need to find her warriors, right? Uh, not just find them. Whatever it is, I'll help you. What do you need to do? I'll do anything. That better not be me having hit that. Did I? Okay, no, I didn't. But there's there's 2311 and I'm at 2289 so I may very well run out because it's only been like nine minutes I agreed with Rathia that I would um that is I would need you to help me take down Titan 
<laughs> Take down Titan? That was a joke, right? No. What? Are you sh sure? Th th that's insane. Yeah, well, welcome to my nightmare. Is that even p possible? To take down t Titan? Uh, I think so? Where in the universe does he even live? Is Titan even a living b being? Well, now I'm not so sure when you say it like that. You need to, to back out of this pact. Don't you think I want to? I can't. I need to complete it or else I turn into some type of monster. Not that I don't already look like one. Especially with this drawer on me! It's repulsive and itchy and giving me splinters in all the wrong places! Uh, have you tried taking it out? Taking it out? Y your drawer. Like, removing it? Y yeah. I... didn't even think to try. R ready? Squeak! Ha! It worked! I feel like it's there's probably not so, supposed to be a, a void of space in, in your chest cavity. W what is, is that? Uh, that's a good question. I can't really see it from this angle. What's it look like in there? Looks like it's just full of stars. Stars? That's all? Stars, some cloudy stuff, and a shadowy figure? A what? N wait, nev never mind. It's only clouds, I think. I guess this must be a window to Raffia? Though now it has a force field or something. Ugh, I hope we didn't break- Oh, we didn't break it! Ah, shoot. R really? That's strange. I could have sworn it looked... Hollow. Um, you probably shouldn't just put your hand into people's chest cavities. <laughs> oh, what page is this? Yeah, yeah, we're about to run out. Um. Boop. Okay, so she's, she smells, she smells her husband, probably. That scent! Petri? Is that you? She doesn't... I can't tell if she's happy about it or not. She doesn't sound like she's happy about it. She doesn't... She also doesn't look like she's happy about it. And I can only assume the reason she's in a bathrobe right now is because of, the, like, the tidal wave that happened earlier. Pretty sure that we just ran out. Yeah. And if it turns out that there's an update today and I could have just waited, I apologize. But, um... Yeah, I guess that does it for this episode of Let's Read Ava's Demon. I don't know what number this is. And I honestly thought that 61 pages was going to take longer than this. Um. So, if you liked it, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. And I'll see y'all in the next one, probably about this time next month, I guess. Later.